What is Parkinson's disease dementia? I'm Dr. Jim. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Over 1 million people in the United States have Parkinson's disease. And of these, between 50 to 80 percent will experience dementia. That's a high percentage. Parkinson's disease affects around 2% of people over the age of 65. And this type of dementia is characterized by abnormal microscopic deposits composed mainly of alpha-synuclein, uh, which is a protein widely found in the brain whose normal function is yet unknown. The protein deposits are called Lewy bodies and are found in other dementias like Lewy body dementia, Parkinson's disease, and Parkinson's disease dementia. This type of dementia is fairly common among older adults who have neurodegenerative disorders. Now, what are the causes and some of the risks? One of the greatest risks that we are aware of when it comes to neurodegenerative disorders is advanced age. It has also been shown in research that mild cognitive impairment may be associated with the development of Parkinson's disease in some individuals. Greater severity of motor symptoms may be risk factors, as is daytime sleepiness and hallucinations experienced before being diagnosed with a dementia disorder. Symptoms include changes in memory, concentration and judgment, depression, trouble interpreting visual information, paranoid delusions, anxiety, sleep difficulties, and muffled speech. While there are no specific medications to either slow or stop the progression of cell damage caused by the disease, there are current strategies aimed at improving quality of life and symptom management. Cholinesterase inhibitors and medications used for Alzheimer's disease, as well as some antipsychotic drugs, can actually be helpful in managing symptoms. You may have heard of this drug. It's been out there for a long, long time. Carbidopa levodopa, or L-dopa may help with certain movement problems, but is also known to aggravate hallucinations and delusions. <clears throat> now, depression is common in persons diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, dementia. So antidepressants then may help with depressive symptoms. Final thoughts, Parkinson's disease dementia is common among those over eight, uh, 65 and older who have been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Besides dealing with movement problems associated with Parkinson's, individuals may also have to cope with symptoms associated with the dementia disorder that affects between 50 to 80% of those with Parkinson's disease. Both disorders cause a wide range of problems, and there is no specific medication to treat them, unfortunately. Hopefully, with more research, better treatments will, come, will become available to enhance people's quality of living and manage their symptoms more successfully. Only time will tell. But this is one of those types of dementia that doesn't receive a lot of attention, and that's why I am presenting it to you now. I'm Dr. Jim Collins. Take a look, maybe Google for yourself Parkinson's disease dementia and learn as much as you can about it. And I will see you later. Take care.